Today I want to plant highlight Drosera Shizandra, which is a bizarre sundew. Um, it looks like carnivorous lettuce. That's what Peter always used to say. Um, these big, crazy wide leaves that are just covered in dew, particularly that leaf right there, these huge drops of dew. They're native to Queensland, Australia, which is tropical Australia, um, warm and high humidity and where almost every other sundew grows in a sun spot. I always joke, they don't call them sundews for no reason. Well, Joshua Shizandra does not want sun. It doesn't want any sun, actually. I've heard of people growing these, um, if you're growing these under artificial light, you don't grow them under the lights themselves, but put them all sealed up in a Tupperware bin and put it like a foot away from the lights. And that's the level of light that they want. Here in the greenhouse, I keep them in a tray completely domed up and underneath the darkest bench in the hothouse. So it's very warm in there and there's never even a drop of sun that hits them. I think it's also important to fertilize them. These are big, beautiful plants. Like they don't get much nicer than this, honestly. Um, and that's because I'm fertilizing them foliarly with the uh, orchid fertilizer that we've been recommending lately. Something else that's just kind of cool are these big, dark roots that are coming off the sides. I haven't tried, but I bet you you could do um, root cuttings on those to reproduce them that way. And you can definitely reproduce these guys with leaf cuttings. They are very eager to clump as well. Um, so even without purposely propagating them, they will just keep continuing to fill up a spot like this. So if you have a dark, humid terrarium that you want to grow a plant in, this would be the perfect one. Hopefully we'll have these for sale next year.